low battery, low, low battery. Hey guys, NJ here, just with a super quick tip for you. So how many of you guys are running telemetry, more specifically the VFAS, where you're taking the onboard LiPo voltage and sending it back to the Tyrannus so that it's aware of what the LiPo voltage is? Obviously that's super useful because you can set up a logical switch to make Amber whinge at you when that battery gets below a predefined value. Now while that's great, especially if you're not, in, not using a OSD uh, or on-screen display, Play. I do find it's annoying at the best of times. I don't want it going off uh, at any other time. One of the things that you will notice if you plug in your uh, main power is this will happen. Telemetry recovered. Low battery. Now it's complained about low battery because it's seen that voltage as it's ramped up to its actual full full amount here. Now there's actually a quick way to deal with this. So if we go into the menu. RSSI low. Telemetry lost. And we hold down the page button to go back to the last page and then back one more. You can see I have logical switch one here set up to play track battery low. And then if I go back again to the actual logical switches page, you can see the logical switch I've got set up is A less than X. So when the VFAS figure of when VFAS is less than 13.7 volts, I want Amber to well, I want that logical switch to trigger and I want Amber to shout out battery low. Now, the way to fix that is also to use this section over this side. Now, this is the AND section, and if we press enter and we move across to that AND section, these AND conditions mean that I can add a switch to this as well. And what I'm gonna do is add my arm switch, which for me is SF up in this corner. So if I click that, it automatically selects that switch and its position. So now what I've done is I've said, please do this as I've asked, but only if this condition is also met. In other words, if that arm switch is on. So now with that done, if I exit back to the main menu, this time when, well obviously I'm gonna be disarmed when I connect the power to the quad. And this time, when we connect it, telemetry recovered. we have no complaining from Amber about low battery. And that will only now whinge when I'm armed and when I'm in flight. That's the only time I want to hear that low battery thing. Now, obviously, this is just a small thing, and it doesn't really matter. The point of this video is it gets you thinking about the AND functionality of the logical switches and how else you could apply them to different areas of how you have your quadcopter set up. Anyway, I hope that was useful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.